Howdy folks, it's the Tall Turtle here, and welcome back to Survivor Craft on the Paul Sword Tuner Patreon server. And we're going to hop in right away in first person, because we're going to the nether today. We are going to build our way down to the nether floor, next to our own nether hub on the nether side. Or nether portal, I guess, on the nether side, just so that we can actually get down and explore ourselves. I think this is how you do this. I want to make a few of these. Um, make a few more. I want to make a whole bunch of nether... I call them nether potions. <laughs> a whole bunch of fire resistance potion. Just so that I can... Um, oops, let's put you back. Just so that I can hang out there as long as I would like. And have extras. So next time when I forget to bring nether potion. Nether potion. Fire potion. Um... I have it down there with me. So let's get this going. Let's put these in here and we get those water effects. Let's put another ward in there. And while we're doing that, let's get some sand, which is around the corner. Wait, did I have glass here already? No, just pain. So let's get some sand. I also want to explore that other um, um, sand biome that we found at the New World border. So there we go, we're gonna get that going. Oh, I heard the potions from here. So now we got awkward potions, so now we need one of those. And then we need one of those to make them eight minutes. And we have two potions here. We already have three down in there. So my main potion place will probably be in the nether, in those chests, and then we'll just have extras up here in case I forget. Otherwise, I have way too many supplies for way too many, too many potions. Let's let that keep running. Let's run back over here. There we go. Get those out of there. And we're going to keep these with us. We'll make a bunch more. We'll add them to this chest. We'll add them to the chest down there. And let's, first of all, while that glass is cooking, let's put that away. And check on our glass. I'm going to run down into the nether, if I can remember how to get there in my own little labyrinth of a house here. And then we're going to... Actually, I think... I think what we're going to do is we're going to visit the blaze farm super fast. Just so we can replenish our stock of... Blaze rods. There we go, so this is what I was talking about. So, let's keep those in there for now. This will be our stack, so 8 times 4 is 32. Right? Yes, I think so. Yeah, so 32 minutes there if we need it because we're going to do some dangerous stuff. All right. Last time we came out here, we were attacked by a ghast. Well, let's, um, let's head to the nether hub and then over to the blaze farm and get a few more blaze rods. What's this? Iceberg biome. That's actually right by the um, jungle, too. So I think this is the blaze farm. There, yeah, because that's blaze rod. See? Boom, boom, boom for blaze rod, I think. And my cart. So instead of taking a cart, we're just going to run down here this time. Because the cart part kind of makes me dizzy. Although I guess if we fall, we're in big trouble. Is there like a service? Yeah, there's service stairs. <laughs> Let's take the service stairs. There we go. Run, run, run as fast as you can. Alright, there we are. At the bottom. We've been here before. Let's see here. Turn it on. And then... I think you close. Yeah, you close the gates. And then crush them. So we'll let them build up a minute. All right, I think we will stop this. Now I've been running this for a while. We got XP to fix our pick, and like a dozen or so dropped in there. So let's open the gate for the last time. Let them all fall in. So I turned it off already. We'll let these fall in. We'll crush them, and then we'll get a a few blaze rods since we had a whole bunch dropped in there. And we'll be out of here. So I have the spawner off and I have the gates open, but they're not coming down here, so I don't really understand if I'm supposed to do something else. How do I get them to come closer? I don't quite understand this. So... I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Come closer. All oh, the chickens are making their way into the nether, I see. Hey, stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop. Your blaze farm. K 
can't get them to come to the front. <laughs> That's awesome. We're going to check this out with Mr. Gypser here and see what's broken about the Blaze Farm. Because I'm really curious. We'll see what happens. <laughs> and he blows by me in the minecart because I took the service stairs. All right, here we go. I'm just really curious what's going on. So there's a pro <laughs> there's a problem. The middle piston is broken. It's time for some maintenance, and now it should be all fixed and working. Which, um, which is fun. I got to see inside a little bit. See how the swing works a little bit. And that's it. So thank you for Mr. Gypster yet again for maintaining this thing. We are going to run off now. Whoa. Hello, Marble Man. Say hi to you too, Marble. All right. So anyway, it's about time we head off and do our thing. I've been here with Mr. Gypster for about 20 minutes. And it's time to head off. We got a few more blaze rods, I think, helping out testing. I'm not going to take them, though. I got my eight that I need. I got my experience that fixed my pick. And Mr. Gypster is fixing it, and we're going to be on our way. Actually, while we're running, I am going to take a moment to thank everybody, your big subscribers. Thank you. Thank you for continuing to support. If you found the channel by accident, please subscribe. Please like. Please leave a comment. Tell me what kind of things you want to see. And I'm apologizing also because I know there are a lot of sounds from my phone in the background of my videos, a lot of text sounds, email sounds, and that's because I'm on call for my day job all the time. So I can't silence that stuff or I'll miss it. And if I miss it, I get in big trouble. So I apologize profusely, but um, that's why you're always hearing sounds in the background. I just wanted to share that with you. I don't talk about that very much. And no one's complained, but it's kind of embarrassing trying to make my video quality to be better and better. Yet you hear all these sounds in the background. All right, here we go. Here is the nether another entrance for me let's have some fish and more fish and let's put away those blaze rods for now i'm totally gonna forget they're down here let's just put them down here for now egg two whatever um fish for food all right let's take a potion just because we don't know we're gonna run into lava there we go and throw you in there bring you down and let's start, actually, I made sure not to bring in efficiency pick because I don't want to go too fast through this cobble. But we're going to start by taking the coordinates, which are, what, 295 and 9 or so, negative 295 and negative 9 or so, yes. We're going to go down to these stairs that someone made, and then we're going to try to figure out if there is a way... What was that? See, we're over a lava lake because this was the original end of the border, the, you know, the border, so... Um, I don't know. Oh, I don't. Oh, yeah. They didn't even make a way down. This isn't a way down. So we got to figure out how we're gonna do this. So it looks like if we go, see, with fire resistance, we can. I assume we can drop into lava with fire resistance, right? Like water, and they'll break your fall. So let's just start going down until we break through. And maybe we'll just take the fall damage, or just jump into the lava. I think that's how we're gonna have to do this. All right. So let's get. started started here i'm gonna do oh geez here we go here we go do we need to um fight this guy let's play ping pong come on now see there you go see is this server leg or what is it here why isn't this working come on why can't i hit it in time come on and how come i'm not taking any damage oh because i got fire resistance potion there's one See, why isn't this working? This is so frustrating. Finally. How many did that take? Nine tries? Come on. Come on. You can do this. Nope. Really? There we go. Hey, I got the achievement. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take a bow, take a bow, take a bow. <laughs> All right. And we have a guest here. What is that? That's gunpowder. Only took 15 tries to get the timing right. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get back to what we're trying to do here. And let's start building our way down now that we got rid of the distractions. I'm also going to 
Actually, that should be like that. Lay this out as I go so I don't accidentally back up into that thing when I'm doing this. So we're going to go right next to this. No, we're not because that's my wall. Um, Come back here. You'll probably feel that to make it look pretty anyway. Can I go through here then? Yeah, there we go. So we're going to start here like so. And we're just going to start staircasing our way down. And then we'll finish this off. We'll make it look pretty. We're going to put a sign that says like stairs down to nether. And then we'll finish this off and make it look pretty. But today's not about being pretty. Today is about finding your way down there. So I'm going to keep going on a little bit. If it takes me one minute or one hour or whatever, I'll cut back once I have something exciting to talk about. And here we go again. Good grief. I got you this time. I got you this time. Maybe I don't. Here we go, right? Oh. Where are you? Oh, well. We tried. I didn't get very far. Um, at all. Let's, <laughs> let's just keep going. What do we have if we close the book? Three and a half minutes left of this potion. Alright, here we go. Alright, so we broke through. We broke through over lava. Would I run out of potion? Ooh, I ran out of potion. Good thing I checked. Um, because... I think if we jump down... We can land and swim to safety. And then we can get an idea of what this area looks like, I think. I'm pretty sure if you jump into lava, it'll break your fall. So, I do have a bunch of stuff to get back up. But, um, just trying to figure out how we can do this. So, I think we're going to go for it. I think it breaks your fall. Yes. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. What's up, though? There we go. There's up. That was scary. <laughs> a little scarier than it needed to be. There we go. Okay, so... Um, looks like people have made other routes underneath. Okay, so let's hop up here and get away from these flames. Could have driving me crazy. Right? How long is that going to last? How long does that last? Is that going to last until the potion is out? I hope not. Um... So I already lost where we dropped down from because I wasn't paying attention. There we go. Okay, so I had to figure this out. Oh, there we go. We dropped from there. So how can we make a way up that looks pretty? Hmm. Looks like there's already some walkways around that way to the fortress. I don't really think we want to go to the fortress. Ooh, can we come back here? And just make a walk? Hmm. I'm, okay, so I'm trying to figure this out. So we can either make a stairway that goes right up and over. No, I don't like that. Let's make use of this. Yeah, let's go over here make use of this low hanging part and make a stairway there I think that's a better idea so let's see here if we go through here alrighty so in we go we'll go like that so now we still have to go up and over more and I already lost track of where it was I should have taken the coordinates of where our dropout was because I totally don't remember where it was um Hmm, how are we going to figure this out? I think we need to go back down, get the coordinates, come back up. Alright, I think we'll make that high enough. So let's see if we can't turn a corner here and stay out of harm's way. Make it all the way over to 29. And then find our way back. So we're at 63. We have a ways to go yet. I thought we were closer than that. All right, here we go. Hopefully we just don't fall down. If we do, it'll be over a pile of lava. And we have lava or fire potion, so we won't take damage. And right, we're at 102, and I think... I think the nether room, or the nether hallway is at 111. So if we go too high, we're going to miss it too. So I think... What was my... 295, I think, was my... um. Oh, what's going on here? I believe 295 
was our portal room on the other side. So I don't want to go past that if I remember right. There it is. Right there. Okay. So let's get this linked up here. And then, like I said, we'll clean all this up and it'll look so pretty and nice. And it'll look like an official way. It'll look like an official way. So if we go... Let's see. Let's do this so we can get down there ourselves. Um, how do we want to do this? And I think we made it. Very nice. Doesn't look awesome yet, but we'll fix it up. We will put stone stairs on it and cobble stairs on it. And some kind of rallying probably, but there we go. This will be our grand staircase sort of going up. Make it look nice in the middle, probably with polish and a sight. And then a pathway around. It'll go up there. Across, won't even see it from the outside. We minimally, 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 ev <laughs> let me say that, minimally invasive. And then we can just wander the nether, although there's not much around here, it seems like. There's some glowstone, but most people probably scavenge most of it, I would think. Otherwise, let's start working on this. I hope I come down here a little bit then, because this is going to be a lot of work. So I hope this hi, hope this makes it worth it. But I think it will. There's a fortress over that away. And there's some glowstone if you want it. We don't have a whole lot of need for the nether, but nice to have our own nether portal and our own nether stairs. So let me go up and get a whole bunch of cobble stairs, stone stairs, and railings or fences, whatever. So we don't fall off. And um, I will, whoop, we got to work on this. How's that going to work? We'll double this up somehow. I will be back in a moment. Back, I forgot to grab a sign saying what this is down here. But um, we'll always come back. Doesn't take as long to get here. So there we go. There's going to be our entrance. Maybe we do something like, ooh, let's see here. Whoop, I didn't mean to do that. Let's try th this. There we go. Then we'll put a sign saying, or right here, down to nether or something. All right, so let's see here. My inventory is really full. Let's see. Let's put some of this stuff in here now. And then um, see if we can't get this looking like something. We'll have stairs going down. We'll have a slab walkway, and then we'll do something with the sides. It'd be kind of nice to know you're not even in the nether, but that's a lot of work, so we'll have to see. So I'm going to start by just putting in slabs and stairs all the way to the nether floor, and then we'll come back and talk about the sides. This is going to take me a long time, so I will see you in a couple seconds to editing and probably a real-life day or two. By the time I get done with this, I'll catch you in a little bit. So just giving an update here. The entrance to the staircase can look like that. And um, polished andesite along the sides. Stone and cobble mixture for the path. And then it's going to change to polished diorite just because with railings that you can't get around unless you intentionally try to circumvent them. Diorite column down the center. Mix of stairs and slabs so it's imperfect on purpose. And it's just going to go this the rest of the way down. So I have like three or four more turns to go. It's very tedious. So I'll do one with you before I have to get more supplies. And then we'll have to figure this out. Actually, this one's going to work out easier. Okay, well, this would be a good one to show you because this one's going to work out better. Because I was having struggles turning my corners because I messed something up when I planned it. I'm actually not sure. But, yeah, that's going to work great. So then, let's see, we need... One of these. Let's do another one here like this. Then those will be slabs there. Okay, not sure why that one's different, but that one is very different from the others. Like I said, no problem. We'll just make it easier then. See, these See these are half, stashed, half slabs down, see? Like this, which gives that really cool thing with the diorite. This one's going to be different then, I guess. Not sure. Actually, I could put half slabs in there just to make it look cool. So let's do that. Let's continue this pattern around and then we'll use half slabs in here to make it look more interesting let's do one of these one of those and then these can be inside the floor then 
like that. There we go. I don't, like I said, I don't know why that one's different. Not going to complain about it. Let's get the rest of these in here, though. And then what I've been doing is doubling them up so you can't walk off the edge when you're in a hurry. And there you go. Light up the corner. And I'll do the next one here with you very quickly. Because here we have to actually do something. We have to do one of these. And let's just do two of those, I guess. And see, yeah, here you go. Here you can see how it's all weird. So what we're going to do then is we're going to do... Let's see how we want to do this. There'll be a stair there. And a stair there. And a stair here. And then the rest of it will be slabs around. I've only had one gas problem so far. And um, it was annoying because you couldn't see the gas. It was out of render distance. But it was close enough to hit me. So that's kind of frustrating. And this you gotta be careful so you don't sneak on the wrong block or you could fall right off. So we're gonna be kind of careful here. Careful as we can be, although this fall we would survive. There we go. There we go. So this is what the rest of them have been like. Just enough to see the side of it there. And then do I have enough railings or walls? I think they're called walls. Yeah, see these have to be doubled up so we're not gonna have enough. So anyway, I'll come back, finish this up. And then just keep continuing that pattern two or three more times. And that'll be the staircase. And then we'll work on the... Well, oh, let's walk right off. Then we'll work on the path itself and how this is going to look. I'm still trying to decide how much work to put into the path. But I got to get more supplies anyway, so I'll be back in a moment. What is that noise? What was that? I've never heard of that noise before. That was scary. Anyway, I'm finishing off the center column part. Then I'll come around and do the um, rails. I just want to get an idea of where the center column is. And then we'll also have to jump up and um, do something with the stuff under the stairs that's showing because we don't want any other rack on this to show. So I've got the scaffolding, which is kind of what that's acting as. Otherwise, that was very startling wherever that noise was. I didn't recognize that sound at all. But um, let's throw some torches on this thing right now. And the center column looks like it's done, I think. Yep, and then the stairs coming down. So I got to finish up the stairs, the railing, and then get rid of all that scaffolding. And the big staircase will be done. Let me quickly finish this up. All right, so as I put in the final touches of the railing, hitting the bottom, I think. There we go. And there we go. There we go. All right, so we need to decide then is, um, let me see that, good idea. That's bad. Okay, let's get rid of that. We need to decide if we're underneath this. Do I want to leave... Whoops, no, not you. Darn it. Do I want to leave the different types of stone and cobble and things? Or do I want to polish it off with diorite or andesite? Probably don't want to do this because then... It's going to hang down. Always we can go something like that and clean it up. You know what I mean? Alright, so stepping back. We have our big spiral steel case up to the top. So let's just check for any erroneous nether rack. And I think we're good to go. Except for that piece right under there, which is part of the walkway. Maybe I'll dig down and fix that. So now what I wanted to do is quickly create like a platform. What do I have? Seven of those, 28 of those. I want some type of like landing area, you know, where people can see that you can come here and you'll be safe for the most part, I think. Let me see here. A couple more of those. We only have seven of these, so we got to be a little careful about where we place those. Um... Get the idea, so what is that? Three out from there. So that'll be one, two, three. Alrighty, oh, we just got to go with this, which is efficient, which is going to... got to be very careful with this one. Alright, so we'll go three out. Well, no, I'm not going to have that many here. Alright, my... Um, 
Let's go with what we've got, I guess. Can we go two out and have enough to get around the corner? I just want to make sure we get all the way around. So that people know they can come here. Oops. Um, I have eight. Well, that should still be okay, I think. I don't know what's down here. Is that somebody's thing? I think they just went down there to get something. Oh, to get some of this stuff. Yeah. Alright, so that's not needed. We can cover this up. There we go. Keep it natural looking. Awesome. So now we have a platform. Oh, let's actually go a little bit further for this part. So people can see there. There we go. You can enter the grand staircase type thing. We could put a rally around the outside too if we wanted to. Just because we have enough pieces left. We'll just keep it for right now. Looks mysterious. I like that. I want to get rid of this too though. There we go. Alright, so the grand staircase is done. Getting us up to another hub walkway or another another highway i guess i don't know well that's awesome so now we need to get rid of that one piece another rack and then just work on our bridge or pathway and walls so i don't know what i'm going to do for that yet so i'm going to go up here try a few different ideas and when i come up with something i'll show you what i've done one thing i did wanted to do though was put a sign that said up to another highway up to another highway. There we go. Now I'm going to go up and work on this thing. Oh, I took this down, by the way. So I cleaned up. Where are you? There we go. Now it actually looks like a bridge to the mainland, which is kind of funny, because why would it be sus uh, suspended out? But whatever. Good. All right, I'll run up there, and we'll see what we can do about this hallway. All right, so there's our stairway and our bridge, which you already saw. And I cleaned out some weird random generation that was in here. And this will be our walkway. I was thinking of putting railings up like this, perhaps. Let me figure out the torch then. I haven't really decided. Um, maybe just like this. But then keep the rest out of it. Because, you know, I want you to be able to run out of the nether too. I don't want you to be committed to this walkway. So, anyway, so something like that just to prepare you because you're going down the stairs but then for these stairs I think I was going to um, I was gonna go crazy and just put a whole bunch of railings on here so you don't run off I think let me see how this actually looks here I don't know if that's really necessary where are you I hear ya maybe that's not necessary Maybe just running down the middle. Oh, here it's absolutely necessary. Of course, I don't fall off the edge. But maybe down... How many gas are there? Where is he? What makes me nervous about the gas? Is they'll shoot at you and you can't even see them. Because the render distance is so short. Don't know if we need that one. Yeah, we kind of do. Um, let's see. Can we get away without these? I know I can still run right off the edge without them. But maybe we don't need them. Let's take some of that out. There are, so I did see some lava blocks in here a bit ago, so I better be careful. I don't have any potion going right now. Clean that out so it looks better. Feels better. There we go. There we go. Um, always running down the steps. You could easily run right off of this, but I think we're going to keep it like that. Yeah, only just too much. Now this thing, same thing. Um, let's see. There's not as much of a risk of running off that way, so let's just go like that. Whoop! I'm actually missing a piece in here. Let's get that fixed. There we go. Wait, what's going on here? Something's not right. There we go. It's too high, I think. No? Hmm. Anyway. Weird. Something I did something weird there. Yeah, this is too. Whoops! Shoot! Oh boy. Um, where's my stairs? I guess we're gonna go with the stone step. There we go. Let's just put that in there. There we go. Just to get us, and then we're on our own. Um. Hey, pigman guy. Cause yeah, that's definitely too much to have double 
railing here. Let's just take off one of them. Let's see if that's still okay. Of course, the problem is you can always run right off, but you really got to be clumsy to run off of that. And that, folks, is why you use Fire Potion with a minute to spare. Now I got to figure out where this came from so I can fix it. Somewhere up here, there's lava. <laughs> Come on, that it? Good. Alrighty. I want to still find that source block, though. I think it's... Oh, I think that was the source block. You know, I'm just digging things out to get a railing in here. And we're in some lava. just wanted to show you how scary it is. Is that going all the way down? Oh my gosh, that went all the way down. Oh, <laughs> look what that flooded everything. And I'm back in it again. Anyway, let me, um, whoop, I actually want that in there. All right, back to work. Just wanted to show you the drama. And a minute later, or actually three or four seconds later, we got another one with 10, with what? One second left of fire resistance. See? Always have that potion ready to go all the time. All right, just putting in the final touches here. Then I'll show you what we've done. And this thing will be complete once and for all. I'm trying to avoid the pigmen that would come to say hi. And I really want to get one back there. I don't think we're going to make it. There we go. Alrighty, so let's hop out here. We'll start from the beginning. I'll show you how this goes. Now, there was a gas that was hanging out with us. I also think maybe I should just fill this in. There's no need for a big hole in the nether. So maybe we'll do that off camera here in a minute so anyway there's a main entrance and then over here says down to another floor we remove all the torches and put in glowstone for lighting we have polished andesite and diorite and stone for the ceilings and walls with kind of a pattern and then random floor pattern this is kind of like a little display when the um pigment come to say hi otherwise random number of or random thickness, I guess, of the andesite and diorite walls. This is polished, obviously. More glowstone, come around the corner, kind of like an open area here. And we can see the outside of what looks like going to a mountain. Coming back, it looks like that. And you just run along. So except for the little open areas, you can't even tell you're in the nether, but um, that's kind of the point. And then you come around the corner, and we safely are fenced in so we can't accidentally run off. Again, there's the entrance to that tunnel. We can look around. And then the big stairs. And then just before we get the staircase, come out here. Looks like you're gonna go to nothing. But then you can kind of get a good view. There's a fortress over there, which some's already raided, of course. Got some other portals around. Big spiral staircase, and again, the reason why we had this long path to get to the staircase is because I don't want to have... Do I hear a magma cube? Because I really want a magma cube. Nope, there's a fortress, some staircase up to it. Anyway, this lets us down to the nether. Oh, there's a baby pigment on a chicken. Anyway, this lets us down to the nether without going over the open water. Because if you look here, we'd be coming down over the open water and then we'd have a big mess or open lava pool. Then we have a big mess right in the middle. I don't want that. I wanted to preserve that so you can kind of see our stairway going up. But it looks very nice, I think. I'm quite proud of it. A lot of work. I've been doing this for many hours, but it's grand and it looks big. And it says up to another highway. And we're just about where the original world border was, I think, to the north. Yeah, if we go this way, this is north. Yeah, this is about where the original was. So I guess if we wanted to, we could just explore forever and ever and ever. Oh, look at that, somebody made their own little highway going down somewhere over the lava pool, probably to the New World border. Not sure what is up there. Should I have a peek quick? And then we'll call it a day. Whoa, they have a little problem there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure where this goes, but it has to go pretty close the new world border I would think maybe the jungle wow got some stuff going on up there very interesting all right let's head back and there is our great staircase from afar you can see it oh, look at that soul sand down there making blocks 
Anyway, you can see from afar, you know this is the way up to the nether highway. Maybe we'll do some development around here too. Not sure where those portals go. Um, that would be north of me, right? Because they're facing south. Yeah, so probably the jungle, probably some other places. Not going to go in them. Otherwise, looks nice. Fortress there too, in case you want some nether brick. Otherwise, I think that's going to do for this episode. I'm going to go back on top and fill in that hole. Just because I have the time and there's no need to have that hole there. So, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you're a big subscriber, thank you for continuing to support. If you found my accident or found me some other way, please like, please subscribe. Please check out the other survivors in the description below. And I'll catch you next time.